welcome back to a new video we're here in la we're back i'm not gonna lie it feels really nice and really good i don't know what's going on but i was talking about this with brooke on the japan trip or skin was so glowy and so healthy even though we were eating so much sugar and fried foods and stuff and i am back in la for the past three days and i'm like starting to get like pimples i got like a rash on my hand i'm actually second guessing if there's maybe something in the water i don't have a filter on my shower and i think the water quality here in la is really poor and it might be something else but i think it is really interesting that i had no skin issues at all when i was in japan and as soon as i'm back in la it comes back anyway i want to take you to another day in my life today i have some er er errands to run Errands to run? Yes. It is currently 7.45 a.m. I'm on the way to my detox, like a chiropractor physical therapy spot. So I got in a little car accident exactly a year ago. Yeah, like 18 May 2023. It really like messed up my shoulder big time. Ever since I've just been having a lot of issues and it's been really annoying because I've been really wanting to build my upper body strength as you guys know and like you know lift a little bit heavier weights but it's just not possible and especially with teaching it's really tough um so yeah i'm gonna go in for treatment this morning which will feel really good i need to pick up a package and get some groceries and then go home i will thank you with today i'm also gonna do a self tan i have a little shoot tomorrow but for now i really need to run rush i am going to be just on time but parking is always a little bit of a bitch so let's go session i can't believe it i walked in and he was like are your pants inside out and i look and i'm like yes they are it is that type of morning <laughs> i'm wearing a big like oversized hoodie thing it's actually from emmy i got this in japan it's really cool but it's covering my pants so i'm just gonna keep it on just run my errands quickly i am going to pick up my package some flowers and groceries and then i'm gonna go home As you know, I like to discuss anything self-care. I want to thank Seed for sponsoring today's video. I take my Seed probiotic daily and I'm really excited because they just launched a new product, a probiotic called VS01 Vaginal Symbiotic. So many of us have vaginal problems or had had in the past and I truly think this is a problem that is not being talked enough about because it can be awkward or can truly cause an uncomfortable feeling. Or vaginal microbiome is like a little ecosystem that can easily mess up by periods and sex and medications and stress. VS01 is here to support and it's so different than anything else. With a little applicator, you're able to insert the vaginal probiotic. This way, it is 10 times more effective than a leading oral probiotic. If you want to take care of your female health and support your vaginal microbiome, you can use my code SANA25 linked down below. Alrighty, my friends, we made it to the gym. Come a workout with me. I am gonna be honest, the motivation was very low today, but we're here and we're going to get a good workout in. I'm wearing this crop top from Aloe. I absolutely love their stuff. And then this is the pants, not inside out. I quickly switched it. And then these are Nike shoes. I just realized that I am wearing black in the black gym. So I hope you can kind of see me. I'm gonna go do a upper body workout from my app. It's the 14 minute arm, back and shoulder strength workout. We talk a lot about like 
workouts and stuff, one of the biggest questions I mainly see from you guys is like, how do you stay motivated? How do you stay disciplined? I think it is really important to have the bigger goal in front of you and to really know what you're working towards too, whether that is just being healthier overall or being healthy when you have kids or when your kids, or if you have kids already, like, okay, being healthy to like be there for your kids. But I also think it is really important to just think about the small steps. So if you are not feeling going to the gym or working it out, you know, you don't have to go immediately for the heaviest, the biggest and the intense workouts. I think it's just important thinking about 1% better every single day. There was recently a client that I was working with and she is a school teacher and she was telling me that two months like into working out and moving her body and like working with me, she was like, oh my God, the teaching is going so much better. My students are learning more they're getting better grades and like she was like I'm feeling so much better I'm having more fun and I was like wow I think that is the exact example of what truly shows that if you are going to be disciplined and motivated into your journey of moving your body it's going to lead into so many places into your entire life and improve that I also think it is really about reframing motivation into your head and almost like reframing the discomfort in discipline to the enjoyment in personal growth. Like I want you to fall in love with the process of what you're doing. So that means finding movement that feels right to you, finding a routine that fits into your schedule eating foods that actually nourish your body and give you energy and like make you happy and sometimes that does mean you have to put the work in like you do i am not gonna tell you here that this is all gonna come easy like you have to put the work into it but i'm telling you it is going to be so worth it anyway i am going to pull up my workout right now and we're gonna get started i'm a little stiff in my lower body because i did a lower body workout yesterday but of course i always want to make Make sure to stretch and then I'm gonna warm up my body on the treadmill a little bit and then we'll get into the work. I did a really good upper body workout and while I was in Trader Joe's, I was craving a breakfast burrito really bad. I feel it's such a California thing. Like everywhere you go, you can get breakfast burritos. Sometimes you have egg in there, steak or chicken or just a vegetarian one or even vegan with like tofu and stuff. Today I was just really craving it. Let's make a breakfast burrito. You will need eggs. I got these actually at Erwan, but you can get these at Whole Foods. I really love these. These are the grain-free tortillas from Siete. I think these are made with cassava flour. I'm also going to add a zucchini. I want to add some extra protein, so I am going to make a little chicken. Chicken breakfast burrito. That's what we're making. Okay, so we're gonna start off with making some chicken. You always wanna cut the chicken on a plastic board and not on a wooden board because it's much harder to get the bacteria off the wooden board. This is a Mary's organic chicken. I'm just gonna slice it up because it just goes faster. I'm gonna shred it after. And there we go. And then I'm gonna keep it super simple. I'm just doing a little olive oil, some salt, and some pepper. Put this in the air fryer. I'm gonna cut some of the veggies. I have a zucchini and then I have a little mushroom. 
And I'm gonna chop them up in kind of small pieces because otherwise they're just not really gonna fit properly in the burrito. It's actually funny. I think until, until maybe a year ago, I didn't even really like mushrooms so much, but a lot of the ingredients that I never used to like as a child, which is actually a lot, like I was a really difficult eater. I just started eating it, even though I didn't like it. Everything like olives and like spinach and <laughs> mushrooms, I just started to appreciate it and like enjoy it over time. And I don't know if that's something with your taste palette that if you just have it often enough, you actually start to enjoy it. I wouldn't say like mushrooms is my favorite thing, but I do really like them in foods and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna cut up the zucchini, get some veggies, get some fiber in there. Sometimes I like raw zucchini. I don't know if that's weird, but I think it is good. This is all chopped up. I'm gonna put it in the pan. using a really good sauce. I found this one at Trader Joe's. It is a red pepper and almond pesto sauce. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try this. It smells really good. I'm just gonna put a little pesto. You can also do a little cheese or something else, but I think this is gonna be really delicious. Put the egg, put the veggies, the chicken. And I have some avocado. Got a little smudged, but I think it will still be so delicious. A little salt, little pepper. And then I'm also gonna put some of these. It's like a spicy mix. Some like greens. I like greens in there. Okay, I hope this is gonna fit. <laughs> this is a good size burrito. Okay, I'm gonna close it. Okay, there we go. And then I'm gonna put it in the pan for a hot second to make it stay. Okay, that looks amazing. I'm gonna cut it. Let's see, shall I do this? I feel this is more chic. I shouldn't cut on this plate either. Oh, it looks really, really good. I made a little side of the sauce so I can dip it in here. How good does this look? Mm. Okay, this is my first time trying the Trader Joe pesto sauce, but it's really delicious and I feel it's like really easy. I was actually going to make a romesco sauce from scratch, but um, I didn't really feel like it after the workout. I was really hungry, so this worked out really perfectly. I'm going to eat my burrito. Mm. We actually have this recipe with the sauce and quinoa in it on the Salting Body app. It has so much protein, eggs, the chicken, fiber, all the veggies, the cassava flour, and then healthy fats from the avocado. So perfectly balanced. I'm gonna eat this now. <laughs> you want a little chicken? Okay, down, down. He's so regional. Like, look at him. <laughs> Yummy. Oh my god, look how much he's drooling. <laughs> Did you see that? Fell like out of his mouth. Are you drooling, buddy? Yeah, you want more chicken, huh? I'm sorry. That was it. That was it. Okay, hey guys, I'm really excited about my package that I picked up this morning. These are our new Soul Sync Body ebooks. And I know the whole word ebook means it's on a tablet or a phone, but we actually decided to print our ebooks because we are doing a little event tomorrow for the launch. I don't think I, 
have like talked about this on YouTube yet, but we are doing the month of June a four week high protein X power Pilates program. This program is really personal to me because I have noticed significant changes. I've talked about this a lot. From the moment I started adding in more weights and adding more protein, I have felt so much stronger. I've been feeling so much more energized. I've actually been able to build muscle. I don't know, my digestion has improved. Like I just feel overall my hair, my skin, my nails, just everything is growing. I work with our registered dietitian and we created so many amazing recipes and a workout plan. So the Recipes really complement the workout plan. I am really excited. I'm gonna open this up. So I haven't seen it in print yet. I don't know, one day we're doing a cookbook, guys. I know <laughs> so many of you always like ask me and I would love to do that. It's been a big dream of mine. So I don't know, I've been, I've been really thinking about it. I feel with these meal plans, like we've made more cookbooks, but I feel like what is special about the meal plans is we're really taking the heavy lifting of you where you don't have to meal plan you don't have to make grocery lists like everything is perfectly calculated ah, this let's see Ta so beautiful we tested out a new printer place so the meals on a daily basis are on average between 90 and 100 grams of protein which is amazing and then obviously you need to adjust a little bit for every person individually because you have different needs than i am it depends on your gender your height your weight your activity levels we're putting down the baseline and then you can always like add and adjust a little bit but look at this the high protein meal plan recipes designed to build lean muscle and a boost in metabolism wow it is so nice and you can like scan the recipe grilled chicken romesco sauce that's what i was talking about today i'm gonna facetime sophie she's like head of content with sourcing body oh my god we put so much work into this like i you can't even imagine hi you are live on the vlog. Say hi. Hi. La la la. Stop it. They came. Oh my god, wait, it's beautiful. I'm gonna cry. Yay. Yay. Oh my god. Okay, she's as excited as I am. So the cool part is that this ebook is available as a sourcing body member and you have the recipes on the platform or if you do not want to sign up for subscription you do not want to be on there we also sell the ebooks separate in our shop so i'm gonna link that also down below in the description this is really exciting yay and then also i think you're really gonna love this i filmed actually a what i eat in a week week one on the high protein meal plan so this is two weeks worth of recipes i did one week and i filmed it so that will be next week's video so i think you would really like it okay for anyone who thinks that i am always organized and so clean and whatever you must know it is a freaking mess in my room right now there's just stuff everywhere i'm gonna be honest it does give me like anxiety when it's just so messy especially when max is not here i'm just like drop it drop it i have a little shoot tomorrow in the fan so i'm gonna do a little fake tan and i wanted to show you my tanning routine i have tried a lot of different tanning mousses and stuff sometimes i do spray tan if i have a really big shoot or something really important but yeah, I was like, for this, I can just tan myself. This one is my all-time favorite, Saint-Tropez self Tan Classic Bronzing Mousse. I just shake the bottle and it's kind of empty. So I don't know, I found this in my cabinet. It's the same brand and this is the Lux Whip Cream Mousse. So it is important that you shower and exfoliate and shave first. I did that this morning. When you do that first, the self tan just kind of stays a little bit better so i shake this and i like to do this 
usually like eight hours before I go to bed. Um, you can sleep in it. I do that sometimes, but I feel slightly sticky and sometimes it like sticks to the sheets a little bit. Like I just don't like sleeping in it. So I try to do it like six hours or eight hours before I go to bed and then just wear it the whole afternoon or wear it the whole day. And then right before I go to bed, I like rinse it off. And I don't use any body wash or something, just a little water rinse. Okay, this looks like good tanning mousse and then you just like oh this is really tan whoops okay normally i'm naked obviously but i'm not gonna be naked on youtube so okay at first obviously like this it looks like really insane but it smells really good and then you just use the sponge to really like rub it in and just want to make sure it's like spread very evenly i don't know what it is but i just feel a t good tan you guys gives such a good confidence boost i don't know what it is and like for some reason i had so much travel this month like i went to mexico to costa rica i got so much sun i just don't get tan i just get tan for one day and then it disappears and i wish i would kind of keep that color because just like a quick little confidence booster okay so i like spread it pretty evenly i'm gonna do the other side I'm all done look I'm already getting so nice and bronzy I really like this mousse I don't know it just felt more luxe I don't use that type of mousse on my face for my face I use these drops from 10 lux and I honestly use these almost like every three or four days the illuminating self tan drops you just drop like two little drops into your day cream or moisturizer in the morning or no in the evening I just put that on and then in the morning you wake up and you just have a little bit more bronze in your face and it's really really nice I am obsessed with this stuff anyway I hope you enjoyed today's vlog with me I feel we were very chatty I am just gonna be cleaning up my stuff here today get some emails done I will see you next week don't forget to subscribe to the channel and put your notifications on so you know when i upload a new video always your support is so so much appreciated Love